In our next exercise, we'll take a look at pie charts and why they might often not be the best chart that you should be using when comparing proportions of data. And then we'll go ahead and build a tree map, which I think is a much better alternative to the traditional pie chart. So let's create a new sheet and let's call this one prop dash pie verse tree map. So to get this kicked off, let's go ahead and add in region to our rows shelf. And now go ahead and double click on profit. Now let's convert this table to a pie chart. Show me pie chart. And right away, when we look at the slices of this pie, it's very difficult to discern which ones are bigger than the other ones. For example, the red and blue slices look almost identical to the eye. But when you hover over, you can see that the profit for the central region, which is the blue, is around 60,000 more than the south, which is 422,000. So quite a difference, but to the eye, it's really difficult to discern. Now let's add on the mark labels for our pie chart by clicking on label and show mark labels. So it's a little messy, not the neatest way to display this data. And I wouldn't recommend showing more than two slices if you are going to be using a pie chart. So let's go ahead and just hide these mark labels for now. And let's bring region into the filters. And let's filter out both south and west. So here you can see a pie chart is beneficial because you can easily tell the difference between the two slices. While before, we struggled to. So that's why I recommend not using a pie chart unless you're only analyzing maybe two or three values at most. Let's hide our show me bar if yours is still showing. And now let's right click on region in the filters and do show filter. Let's toggle the regions back in. Now let's explore the better alternative, the tree map. Come up to show me and click on the tree map option. You can immediately see that this particular chart takes advantage of the screen real estate much better than the pie. Everything looks much cleaner and neater. And it also gives us a lot more of a canvas to work with as far as labels go. And the tree map is a great replacement for the traditional pie chart because it allows you to analyze multiple dimensions simultaneously. For example, the color of our squares, the size of our squares, each within these nested rectangles. So let's say we wanted to analyze the sales by the size of our squares and the profit by the color of our squares. In order to do that, we would simply click on sales and drag it into our size measure. Now all of our squares have been updated to be proportionate with the total sales amount. and the color reflects the profit. Because we're using monetary values, let's go ahead and change our profit to be a red and green diverging color. So we'll click on color, edit. We'll change our palette to be a red green diverging and apply. Here we can see that the central region has done well from both a sales and profit perspective, whereas the Western region has made a lot of sales, but really has not netted much profit. You can see 300,000 roughly for profit for the Western region, while the central region, which has pretty similar sales volume, has netted 481,000. So let's go ahead and just clean this up by adding extra labels 
in order to add our sales and profit below our region labels, all we need to do is click on label, click on this show more under the text field. You can see that currently all it's showing is the region value. So let's bold that and maybe make it 11 and we'll apply that. Maybe make it a little bit bigger, 12. Okay. So that looks much neater. Let's go ahead and add in both our sales and profit amounts now to our label. All you need to do is hold down control on your existing measure values within the marks card and Tableau will copy that reference. So you don't have to come all the way over here to the left hand pane and click and drag it onto label. It's already over here. So by simply holding down the control key, clicking and dragging and dropping onto label, it retains its original mark setting for both size and color and allows you to also add in for the text objects as well. And because these are dollar amounts, we'll make sure we can actually show that. So we'll come down to both profit and sales. Profit. Default properties. Number format. Currency custom. And let's change this from two decimal places to zero. Okay. So now we have our profit. And we'll update our sales the same way. Default properties, number format, currency custom, and we'll get rid of our decimal places. And when you change the format of a field within this left-hand pane, it's going to apply that across the entire workbook. So for example, when we use profit before in another one of these worksheets below, it will now have the dollar sign instead of just the raw numbers being shown. So that's an easy way to apply changes across the board without having to go sheet by sheet by sheet and updating the format. And one more thing I like to add when I'm dealing with proportionate charts is the percentage of total. Because the size of our sales represent the square size, I'd also like to show the percentage of total sales that each square makes up out of this entire tree map. So I'll add in sales right to the bottom of my marks card Currently it's just set to detail, but I'll change that by right clicking, quick table calc, percent of total. Now, if I want to add that below this set of values, all I need to do is click and drop it onto label. Now we can see based on each particular square, what the total sales were for that region in comparison to the overall. This concludes the exercise on comparing pi and tree maps. Let's move on to the next exercise.